So I want to go over one quick uh, taping technique that help with your shoulder and, and scapular position and help with your overall posture. All right guys, we're going to go over a, a taping technique to work on shoulder position and the scapular position. It's going to help with posture, it's going to help with the right um, alignment for uh, optimal mechanics for shoulder and overhead motions. Um, and to start uh, the, the taping technique, we're going to take three pieces of tape. Sometimes the tape is already like pre-cut. If not, you want to just kind of measure it from the shoulder to uh, the point where we're going to go. Um, so the, the goal here is to get the, the scapula in a, the more optimal position. Uh, so it's not rolled forward, it's not tilted and, and impinging on the shoulder. Uh, we're getting the right um, position to help with the right muscle activation. All right, so what we're going to do actually uh, with Dave here is we're going to tell him to get the best possible, possible posture he can. So he's going to really retract, stay super tight. Uh, and just give him like that military posture. So we're gonna tell him like, I, I tell patients like, hey, that's like a hundred, that's a perfect posture. And then I want you to give me the worst possible posture. So that's like a zero, you see the C7 pop out. And then we <laughs> fix, go to a hundred, and then we go to zero. So one of the first things you can do at home if you're in front of a computer a lot, is just occasionally take yourself back and forth through a hundred and zero. After he gets to a hundred, we're gonna tell him to actually back off to maybe 80 or 90. And that's a more neutral position. That's kind of where we want the shoulders. We don't need someone to be overly uh, retracted in that 100 perfect position. Uh, the muscles are actually too short in there, and that's not like a realistic position to, to be at. So we get into 100, and then we back off to 80 or 90. We're going to do, uh, with three taping, uh, with three pieces of tape, it's, we're going to help cue the shoulder to stay in this position. The tape is not going to hold the shoulder there. I think it's really important to understand that. Uh, nor is it going to automatically change how everything moves. But it is giving you the cue, uh, the term we use is a proprioceptive cue, to, to know where you're supposed to stay at, at, in, in space. So when you go and you fall out of that position, the tape pulls and you feel it stretch and it's kind of guiding you and telling you to reinforce to go back to where you're supposed to be. Uh, so you take the tape, if you've never used it before, kind of rip uh, a few inches away from it uh, and then take the first tail off. I like to do it in this specific order, but by no means you, you absolutely have to. We're going to pass the midline of the shoulder and we're going to go on the AC joint. You don't have to be perfect here, um, but we're, we're, we want to make sure it's in front of midline uh, of the shoulder and uh, there's a bunch of bony prominences here. You can kind of find where it's the most bony and start there. And you're going to work towards the mid back, uh, specifically the inferior angle. Um, of your scapula. So we're going to the very end of your shoulder blade, but again, we just refer for uh, simplistic purposes, we're just going towards the mid-back. Take the tape and give it a really good pull, and then maybe back off a little bit while you lay it down on there. At some point, someone told me, can you see the tape is heat activated? Did you learn that? <laughs> So we do this. I think that was a big lie. I think it's just to make sure the person feels good and you give them like a little back scratch. Um, but uh, just in case, we, we do uh, uh, rub that on there a little bit to make sure that it stays nice and sticky. All right, so that's gonna help the shoulder from rolling forward. It's cueing them with the stretch and the tape to kind of pull back. Uh, but we still wanna make sure the shoulders stay externally rotated uh, and uh, posterior tilted. So we're gonna take the next piece of tape, same thing, we're gonna rip it have that little tail sticking off. We're gonna go back uh, to the same starting point that we did before, and we're gonna go towards where the neck and the uh, mid-back kind of uh, join, so we call it the CT junction. Uh, there's a bony spot here called the spinous scapula, so ideally you kind of lay it down on that bony spot, but again, we're, we're, for all intents and purposes, as long as it's going this way and you get the pull, it's gonna be fine. So we pull the tape, so almost edge, take it to as far as you can, back off a little bit, and then lay it down. So the same thing that this tape held to roll forward, this one's in, in case he internally rotates. And then finally we want to make sure he kind of stays in a more neutral um, thoracic spine and stays extended there. So we're going to just close off that triangle. So it's gonna go down the medial border of the scapula. Again, you don't have to get too caught up on the specifics here, but start at the um, lower cervical spine, start at the, uh, the base of the neck, pull, get that stretch, back off a little bit, and lay it down. 
and we're generally looking to make sure we have that triangle. So this is going to cue all proper uh, alignment and positions where we get movement faults or postural faults where the shoulder goes uh, out of position. So as you can see from the taping technique, it's a great way to kind of promote and, and keep your, your shoulder uh, cued in the right position. It's not going to hold your shoulder there. I think it's really important to understand what kinesio tape does. Kinesio tape is really stretchy. Uh, and it can even potentially kind of rip a little bit. If it, if it can rip that easy with a couple fingers and it can stretch that much, it's probably not strong enough to like actually hold you in position. It's not strong enough to facilitate and inhibit tissue and muscles to fire properly. Um, which is no research also to kind of back that up. Uh, but it is a, a, a assistance on a, a helping promote posture. Um, it's still important that we take breaks and we move. It's important that we get a, a proper uh, desk set up among many things. Um, but I think it's important to understand that the kinesio taping uh, at its best is to help promote uh, posture and positioning. And so hopefully you find this taping technique uh, to do that for you.